that I've been living here in Tucson all my life. I grew up in the south side of Tucson. Uh, one of my biggest beliefs, more like about what you are talking about, is what I believe has much to do with the reason why we uh, suffer or we been impacted with social, economy, public health, and environmental problems since the last 1980s TCE groundwater contamination. Since then, uh, you know, there, there has been uh, lost jobs, a lot of people very ill in our communities. Um, it, back in the 1980s, it was a very familiar uh, TCE or trichlorothiazine, dioxane, chromium. It wasn't as researched as it has been now. So now they're finding that these contaminants, these chemicals, these toxics, actually do cause cancers, they cause kidney failures, they cause death. If you're exposed to this stuff, and for a very long time, eventually it's going to kill you. Uh, depending on the site, even where you're living and, and how much you're, you're, you're receiving. However, the 1980s, when the, there was a litigation in the 1980s, it was a big lawsuit. 2006, um, the last of the lawsuits were paid to the last persons that were still alive. We don't know whatever happened to the money that for the people that, that were dead before they ever saw that money. We don't know if the family members have that money, the lawyers know where it is. We just don't know. I'm not getting any response from the lawyers on that one yet. However, um, however, since then, I, I have taken a great interest because of the illnesses in my family. My, my daughter passed away. My daughter is very young and she's in her end stages and she's only 20 years old. My granddaughter is already in her fourth stages, and she's only five years old in kidney failures. My ex-husband just got surgery for had a tumor, cancer, large tumor in his kidney, and that was removed during Christmas time. So you know that that's just enough there, and uh, our community is now seeing more of this stuff in the Midvale area where back in the 1980s, it was never researched because it used to be a farm back in the 1980s. So that farm went bad, their crops went bad, they shut that down, and what they did is they began to build houses above that soil. The contamination we thought had been stopped, it had been cleaned up in the 1980s. What we didn't know is what they shut down was wells that were at the airport property. Those were the wells that were shut down. But other municipal wells, some of them also got shut down, but not all of them. So what happened is that the underground drainage systems, they didn't get removed either. So none of that started happening until 2014 when I started knocking on people's doors. I started, I wanted to know what's going on, what's going on with our water, I wanted answers. I started writing letters to the senator, to my congressman, to uh, EPA, city of Tucson. I wanted to know what's going on with this. Did this water ever even get cleaned up? Because when I went to research the kidney cancers in my family, the librarian there told me that the TCE was still a very big problem and that the health uh, problems were Continue. Then, when I started asking about the water, I didn't find out that it was just the water that was contaminated. It's your soil and your air that's now contaminated as well. Mm -hmm. So when I started asking those questions, it comes out that I found this much research of soil contamination since 1980s, even until today. They're still cleaning it up. And yes, it's right under your soil here in this area, all these areas here. Because we've got um, we've got what they're called landfills, okay? You got landfills that you don't even know that you're you're above them. Start to start working on this soil and testing it before you plant anything. Planting anything in there, and and that would also help us to find where there is contamination in our communities. With this particular problem. It's, it's so extensive that uh, it, it, it could involve several people, mm -hmm. full-time, technical yes. people, know yes. what they're doing. Yes.